Dear Adonis, I'm sorry that the man is your father. Let me be honest. It takes a man to be a man. Your dad is not responsive. I look at him and wish your grandpa would have wore a condom. I'm sorry that you got to grow. Chat, did, didn't this remind y'all of Eminem? This reminded me of how Eminem be rapping like, you know, when he did Dear Stan. And, but, but the way this beat sounds. Inside this climate, you're a woman, so you know how it feels to be in alignment. It was like some horror movie shit, right? Like a nigga chasing you with a knife, slow. <laughs> like a nigga, like Jason is hunting you down with a knife. Doom, 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 doom. I like the end though, because he picked it, he picked his pace up. So basically, he sat down to Donis. He sat down all Drake family on Meet the Grams, right? So he responded with family matters with Meet the Grams, right? He says, uh, he said, I look, uh, uh, he said, I'm sorry that you got to grow up. Life is hard. I know the challenge is always going to beat us home. Sometimes our parents make mistakes that affect us until we grown. You're a good kid, right? Good kid, Mad City. Reference to himself, you're a good kid that need good leadership. Let me be your mentor since your daddy don't teach you shit. Never let a man piss on your leg, son. Either you die right there or pop that man in the head, son. Okay, that's the story of Drake getting pissed on that we all know about. So Kendrick basically told him, you got to deal with that right there. Either die or pop him in his head, something. But don't just let a man piss on you. Never fall in the escort business. That's bad religion. Please remember, you could be a bitch even if you got bitches. Never code switch. Whether right or wrong, you're a black man. Even if it don't benefit your goals, do some push-ups. Get some discipline. Don't cut them corners like your daddy did. Fuck what Ozempic did. Don't pay to play with them Brazilians. Get a gym membership. So basically, this whole bar is uh, uh, Kendrick basically saying that Drake is a trick, right? That he got bitches, but he's a bitch. That he code switches from black to white, depending on who he's around. And he says... Uh, do some push-ups, you know, get a gym membership. Don't cut them corners, right? Cut the corners like how Drake sculpted his abs, cut cut his abs up, cut them corners. Uh, don't pay to play with them Brazilians, you know, the Brazilian plastic surgery. Get a gym membership. So basically he's telling Adonis, don't get plastic surgery to fix your body. Do some push-ups. Now, wasn't this a play on... Drake's this if yes, type yes, chat. He told Drake's son to do some push-ups. <laughs> yeah. So he said, you're a good kid. Good kid, Mad City. Right? Do some push-ups. Get some discipline. So he told his own son, do some push-ups. You know, drop and give me 50, nigga. Drop and give me 50, nigga. Drop and give me 50, nigga. Drop and give me 50. That's what Kendrick said. He said, he told Adonis, do some push-ups. Right? So that's a bar. A bar back at you. Don't cut them corners like your daddy did. Fuck what Ozempic did. Don't pay to play with them Brazilians. No throwing rocks and hiding hands of that's law. Don't be ashamed about who you with. That's how you treat your moms. Don't have a kid to hide a kid to hide again. Be sure 5% will comprehend, but 95 is lost. Be proud of who you are. By the way, chat, on N95, that's a Kendrick song, right? N95, right? 95? Just like the 95 Thesis from Martin King, Martin Martin Luther, the 95 Thesis, right? But 95 is lost. And that song, 90, in 95, don't Kendrick be like, take off the donna, take off the donna, take off the donna, take off the Wi-Fi, take off, take it off. Take off all that designer bullshit and what do you have? So that's what, that goes to me, that went back to his other song. When he said 95 is lost. Because on that song in 95, he's saying, take off all the bullshit. And who are you? And he said the same thing on this song, right? Take that mask off. That's what he told Drake. Take that mask off. I want to see beyond them achievements. This this track was so fucking cold, bro. This wasn't no like I'ma bounce to this shit. This was a motherfucking. This was this was some this was some ether for the soul. Right, be proud of who you are. Your strength come from within. A lot of superstars that's real, but your daddy ain't one of them. And you nothing like him. You'll carry yourself as a king. Can't understand me right now. Just play this when you're 18. Told the nigga play this when he's an adult. Right, dear Sandra, your son got some bad habits. I hope you don't undermine them, especially with all the girls that's hurting inside this climate. You a woman, so you know how it feels to be in alignment with emotion. 
hoping a man can see you and not be blinded. Dear Dennis, you gave birth to a master manipulator, even using you to prove who he, who he is is a huge favor. I think you should ask for more paper and more paper and more paper. I'm blaming you for all the gambling addiction, psychopath intuition, a man that mm. like to play victim. You raised a horrible fucking person. The nerve of you, Dennis. Sandra, sit down. What I'm about to say is heavy. Now listen. Your son's a sick man with sick thoughts. I think niggas like him should die. <laughs> him and Weinstein should get fucked up in a cell for the rest of their life. He hates black women, hypersexualizes them with kinks of an info fetish. Grew facial hair because he understood being a beard just fit him different or fit him better. A beard is a is a gay nigga's cover, right? Martin Luther knowledge, you caught that, right? So a beard is a gay dude's, you know, a, a, a gay dude might pop out with a woman, but that's they call that his beard. It's what he's using to cover that he's gay, right? Grew facial hair because he understood being a beard just fit him better. He got sex offenders on Hobio that he keep on a monthly allowance. A child should never be compromised and he keep his child around him. And we got to raise our daughters knowing there's predators like him lurking. Fuck a rap battle. He should die so all of the women can live with a purpose. I've been in the industry 12 years. I'm going to tell y'all one little secret. It's some weird shit going on and some of these artists be here to police it. They be streamlining victims inside of their home and call them tender. Cat Williams said, get you the truth so I'm going to get mine. The embassy about to get raided too. It's only a matter of time. So he basically said that Drake's establishment was going to uh, get raided. It's tender is something you start a fire with. Yeah, that too, for sure. For sure, for sure. Exactly. Good catch though, too. Yeah. Tender is something you can, uh, start a fire with. Exactly. Like the, it really could be anything, but sometimes it's like wood wood carvings and stuff like that. You know, the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like debris from trees, old bark, shit like that. Exactly. So he says, hey, LeBron. Keep the family away. Curry, keep the family away. To anybody that embody the love for their kids, keep the family away. They're looking at you if you're standing by him. Keep the family away. I'm looking to shoot through any pervert that lives. Keep the family safe. So these were, hey, Chad, these, this was beyond a rap battle, right? This man alleged and accused some criminal things. If Drake is uh, making child pornography, dare I say, allegedly, that, that was implied. At his crib, right? Then they leaked the videos of themselves to further push the agenda. So they got videos of what they're doing to these victims in their homes. You see? And like I said, well, none of that surprised me with Holly Weird, for sure. That's why Kendrick said, I've been in the industry 12 years. I'm going to tell you a little secret. And guess what? He may not be able to prove it right off the bat, but I know that nigga ain't just going to say that just... Because just to say it, like, oh, yeah, let me just say this. Or there's smoke, there's fire, people. Dear baby girl, I'm sorry that your father not active inside your world. He don't commit to much, but his music, that's for sure. He's a narcissist, misogynist, living inside his songs, try to destroy families rather than taking care of his own. Taking care? If that was another bar type, yes. Right? Take care. Drake's album was called Take Care. Try to destroy families rather than taking care of his own. Should be teaching you timetables or watching Frozen with you or at your 11th birthday singing poems with you. Instead, he be in Turks paying for sex and popping perks. Examples that you don't deserve. I want to tell you that your love, your brave, your kind. You got a gift to change the world and you could change your father's mind. Because our children is the future, but he lives inside confusion. Money always been illusion, but that's the life he's used to. His father probably didn't claim him neither. History do repeat itself. Sometimes it don't need a reason, but I would like to say it's not your fault that he's hiding another child. Give him grace. The reason I made Mr. Morale so our babies like you can cope later, give you some confidence to go through something is hope later. I never want to hear you chase a man because it's feral behavior. Sitting in the club with sugar daddies for validation, you need to know that love is eternity and trumps all pain. I'll tell you who your father is. Just play this song when it rains. Yes. Uh, never mind. Yes, he's a hit maker, a songwriter, superstar, writing a fucking deadbeat that should never say more life. Meet the Grams. Again, more life. Another Drake album. Okay. 
Dear Aubrey, I know you're probably thinking I wanted to crash your party, but truthfully, I don't have a hating bone in my body. This is supposed to be a good exhibition within the game, but you fucked up the moment you called out my family's name. Why you had to stoop so low to discredit some decent people? Guess integrity is lost when the metaphors don't reach you or doesn't reach you. And I like to understand because your house was never a home. 37, but you're showing up as a 37, uh, as a seven year old. You got gambling problems, drinking problems, pill popping and spending problems. Bad with money, whorehouse, soliciting women problems. Therapy's a lovely start, but I suggest some ayahuasca. Strip the ego from the bottom. I try to emphasize with you because I know that you ain't been through nothing. Crave entitlement, but want to be like so bad that it's puzzling. No dominance. Let's recap moments when you didn't fit in. No secret handshakes with your friends. No cultural cachet to binge. Just disrespecting your mother. Identity on the fence. Don't know which family will love you. The skin that you're living in is compromising personas. Can't channel your masculine even when standing next to a woman. Kendra was killing this nigga. Chad, I don't know what y'all, I don't know what y'all seeing or what y'all talking about. That boy said no cultural cachet to binge. Basically, like nigga, you couldn't watch the wire. You couldn't watch. Uh, boys in the hood and men's society to download our culture to figure out what it's like over here in America. That's what a lot of don't y'all realize that's what a lot of people do. How many people come to America and they they that the image of Black Americans is from men's society, boys in the hood, The Wire, you know, shit like that. Friday. So that's why that's why Kendrick said before you had secret handshakes and you was all cool, nigga. Before you had cultural cachet to binge, you was disrespecting your mother, your identity was on the fence, and you didn't know which family will love you, your black family or your white family, right? Can't channel your masculine even when standing next to a woman. You a body shamer. You going to hide them babies, ain't you? You embarrassed of them. That's not right. That ain't how your mama raised us. Take that mask off. I want to see what's under them achievements. Why believe you? You never gave us nothing to believe in because you lied about your religious views. You lied about your surgery. You lied about your accent and your past tense. All this perjury. You lied about your ghost writers. You lied about your crew members. They all pussy. You lied on them. I know they all got you in them. You lied about your son. You lied about your daughter. You lied about the mother kids that's out there hoping that you come. You lied about that only artist that could offer you some help. Fuck a rap battle. This is a long life battle with yourself. Cook them, boys. Chat. Cook them. Cook them.